It's Entertainment Schmig. It's brought to you by Plaza Motors. I'm trying to avoid, this is the worst dress I have ever worn. Courtney said, oh, is that new? No, I haven't worn it in a while, and now I remember why. Try, try not to Lenny Kravitz you, the female version. <laughs> Do you need any help over there? No, I don't. Oh, okay. Perfectly fine. Just checking. It's paper clipped together. Button up your uh, jacket. That way you don't have to worry about it. Then it looks weird. Let me see. It looks weird anyway. <laughs> Jean jacket with a nice dress. <laughs> hey. That was hey. good. It like, you know hit what? and popped yeah. right up. I have extra insurance because of this. <laughs> <laughs> Online now at Y98.com. We have a few videos. John Stewart. In his tenure on The Daily Show, um, made many jokes at Arby's expense. And they put them all together, and Arby's turned it into a commercial. You can see the whole thing online at Y98.com. Hey, and Courtney's right. We, we, we love clients because we know they, they're sensitive about oh their product. Oh, my gosh. There's and, so many sensitive companies. And they should be. I mean, they've got to protect their product. But the fact that Jon Stewart would make fun of Arby's, and then Arby's comes out and, and celebrates that. The, the fact they've got a sense of humor it's is yeah, neat. Gross. It is neat. There was a producer from The Tonight Show with Jay Leno who said he cannot remember another host whose show was complete satire. Glad that Arby's realized that. There were lots of politicians through the course of the years who went on that show not realizing it was a fake news show and got burned a little bit. <laughs> Tonight's the final show. We don't know who is going to be like the final guest, if there will be any. But when you think of all the people who came out of this show, they started as correspondents, Steve Carell and Stephen Colbert, but uh, Rob Corddry and Rob Riggle and uh, Mo Rocca. <laughs> I mean, there are a lot. John Hodgman, you know, he was the PC guy in the I'm a Mac, I'm a PC. Right, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Every, almost everybody went on to do bigger things. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Except Olivia Munn. Tall, skinny lady. She just does commercials now. Oh, yeah. I know who you're talking about. Yeah, she was good. Mm -hmm. I can't think of her name. Uh, like, Nancy Walls, John, or sorry, Steve Carell's wife was on The Daily Show, too. Lots of great people. So, yeah, we're going to miss John Stewart, his final show tonight, and it's 50 minutes long. Also online, the world's highest paid actors, Robert Downey Jr., number one for a third straight year, and 25 celebrity couples who are still together. If you're bummed about Jen and Ben, Reba and her husband, uh, Gwen and Gavin, you know, all these longtime couples Blake splitting. and Miranda. Yeah, Blake and Miranda. Not together as long, but we have some couples who are married for thir 25, 30 years. And who's, in who's Hollywood. Got the, was it Tom Hanks and Rita Wilson? Is that... Uh, they're close, 27 years, uh, but married 33 years. Bono and his wife, Ozzy and Sharon, and Danny DeVito and Rhea Perlman. 33 years. In, like, celebrity years, that's like 100 or something, I think. Ice Cube on The Tonight Show with Jimmy Fallon last night, and they had a list of the things that the initials NWA do not stand for. Ice Cube, uh, why don't you tell the first thing that NWA does not stand for? NWA does not stand for nine white accountants. <laughs> NWA does not stand for no way, Ashley. NWA does not stand for Nickelback was awesome. <laughs> That one. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Chad Kroger. <laughs> he's doing fine. Yeah, he's got a, yeah. He has a rink. hockey rink in his basement. I know it. <laughs> it's taking a lot of heat. 19 kids and counting. You know, when. Uh, I think 19 kids and stopped. Yeah. Is that the, the actual. Exactly. And canceled. <laughs> Nine kids and canceled. The CFO of Discovery Communications, though, which is the parent company of TLC held a call about their earnings report for the second quarter. And very telling, this is kind of the story behind why it maybe takes networks so long to pull a show after a scandal. It's because pulling 19 kids and counting from TLC's lineup is costing TLC over $19 million. Wow. So it Ooh. is 19 and counting. Yeah. <laughs> really? <laughs> You know, you have to figure out, especially uh, on a basic cable network like that where they do so many reruns, you have to fill all that time once oh, you yeah. have those gaping holes in your schedule. 19 million, man. Now on for some sequels. Some movie studios have announced 
Bad Boys 3 is coming out in February of 2017. And Bad Boys 4, they don't even care how Bad Boys 3 does. Bad Boys 4 comes out in July of 2019. They've talked about some other release dates. Ghostbusters, the female version, comes out in July of next year. As does The Magnificent Seven. That comes out next September. I think that's going to be good. The remakes with Chris Pratt, Denzel Washington, Ethan Hawke. Uh, Vincent D'Onofrio, Jumanji, Robin Williams version is 20 years old this December, and it's coming out in Christmas of 2016. And Stephen King's The Dark Tower out in January of 2017. They they finally can make that into a movie. There's so much. I mean, uh, the majority of his books are part of that Dark Tower series, so I'm sure that's just a launching pad for all his stuff. Man, that'll be awesome. (laughs) I... I didn't I, know you were such a Stephen I, King fan. I, I, well, he was on an episode of Family Guy. They did a parody thing, <laughs> and I started looking him up on Wikipedia. And then you realize he's, he really, well, he, you, re- he writes books too. Well, not only that, I mean, how many <laughs> books and how many stories and how many things he's written? You know, I mean, I forgot he did Shawshank Redemption. Stand by me. I mean, these are just like legitimate things. Yeah, I like how he's telling us this information. Like we're learning a lot of short stories, and he didn't use his name for a lot of stories too. So Mm -hmm. he didn't use Stephen King, Richard Bachman, because he was a big fan of Bachman Turner Overdrive. I didn't know that. Uh, Wikipedia. (laughs) Wikipedia. (laughs) Doesn't mean it's true. How do you spell that? (laughs) T H A T. No. All right. Not only is the Republican presidential debate on to, I like how they call it the upper tier and the lower tier. <laughs> Candidates? Yep. Upper tier, by the way, the top 10. But Christopher Cross on Jimmy Fallon, set your DVR. That's entertainment. Oh, Schmig. that'll be awesome. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Do a little sailing. Why do you say it like that? More <laughs> online at Y98.com. Why do you even ask why I say it like that? That's-